Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be quite interesting to say the least. So what I did was I have my own personal drone that I use for my videos, the DJI Mavic Mini. And I thought maybe I did not get the right drone for this. Like maybe there's a cheaper alternative that would do the same tasks just as well. So I went ahead and got a second drone uh, and my assumptions could not be farther from the truth. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into it. So right off the bat, we have the DJI Mavic Mini, the one I use, and the Opticam Anamoy drone. Uh, this one is priced at 200 euros. This one is priced at 400 euros. So for half the money, is it half the drone? Is it worth the extra money to put in for a DJI? Uh, or do you want to go with something less famous, but cheaper i thought i'd make this simple by categorizing the different performance requirements so i'm gonna judge my uh, scores i'm gonna give them scores from based on performance ease of use practicality price equals quality all right so here we have the first clip this is the first time i'm trying out the opticam animoid drone and I gotta say like it was not easy to get up in the air I had a lot of issues and I had to read the handbook all the time um, so yeah it's hard to operate especially if you haven't read the instructions first so here we have the DJI Mavic Mini easy to take off I'm just displaying how easy it is in the clip here and you can tell that the quality has gone up significantly from the Opticam which was not very good um, yeah, and you can see it's stable when it flies and, and I can control it with ease. So here's a clip of me actually managing to fly the Opticam drone, but as you can see it's uh, flying on its own, I'm not touching the buttons, I have to counter steer for it to be able to actually fly and then it keeps on flying against different kinds of objects and it's just making it extremely difficult for me to control. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So the third time I actually went out was today, this morning, uh, and here, here you can see I'm actually managing to perform some kind of flying without actually having to worry about crashing all too much. Uh, but you can see the quality is a bit pixelated and I'm still having to adjust and the camera looks a little bit off if you ask me, uh, which is a little bit weird. It should not look that way when you're flying. But here I'm in the next clip here. I'm trying out the follow mode. It's super weird. Like um, you can follow track something, but you you cannot decide on what it tracks. So it tracks whatever it wants, which is super weird. At least I didn't get it. And it's actually not that bad. Uh, one thing is that yes, it can hold its position uh, as long as you don't move it. As soon as you start moving it, it's gonna take off on its own but the thing is like when you put it in different modes it's just gonna put it in the mode directly and you don't have any chance to impact so when I put it to go home mode it almost flew up in the tree because uh, it set it uh, automatically to 30 meters and I couldn't stop it by just pulling the levers I had to uh, press the same button again and hold it pressed uh, down and the modes are like difficult to work but it's I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that it's actually working now so uh, pretty good but still um, I have to give it to the DJI Mavic but I'm sorry for the biased review um, obviously I've been using the DJI so so let's uh, do some quick maths here the Opticam got three for performance uh, one for ease to use 
3 for practicality and 4 for price and quality ratio. The Mavic Mini got 5 points for performance, 5 points for easy to use, 4 points for practicality and price and quality ratio it got a 4. So this brings the total of the Opticam to 11 points out of 20 possible. And for the Mavic Mini it brings a total of 18 points out of 20 which means it is the winner um, of this of this challenge so to conclude today's video I'm just gonna say that one of these drones is ready to be a trustworthy companion wherever you go uh, and one of these is more of a an amateur a hobby thing uh, for you so it depends on what your price range is obviously I am using the DJI Mavic Mini, I will continue to use the DJI Mavic Mini, uh, it's my preferable choice, but if you can't justify the 400 euros, then you just buy the 200 euro drone, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Um, thank you so much for watching, uh, everything, every like is very appreciated, every, every follow means a lot to me, so hit that thumbs up and subscribe.